you'll see no hazy About to get real messy I'll put you in a grid six feet like candy <laughs> Just beneath the post Yo, yo, bro, yo, bro You can see it's touching the net behind the goal How, how possible was that, bro? <laughs> like, considering the distance from the way, where you kicked it and the goal post, like, how possible was that? I think it, uh, it was quite far from the 18 meters of the pen uh, penalty area uh, It's usually the area where I train for the free kicks okay. Whenever I'm playing full pitch matches this is where I, two, three days ago, uh, like before the match, like I go training and I start playing shooting everywhere. And that's one of my shots when my, when my, uh, like I can say he is my classmate and also with the same branch, IT department, his name is Izzat. He saw my shots. He said, I really, I really got inspired by your shots. Can I have your video? Wow. And he so got he my video. video. Yeah, he took the video and he sent me back and he was really pressing me that time that I really liked, even though he is not a football fan but when he saw me shooting like that yeah. he told me like he was really impressed bro 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 the stamina the energy like bro this is unbelievable uh let's get back to the uh, the video you are juggling here wow Wow, 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 bro. You even use this one too, and it doesn't fall down. No, no. Wow, bro, wow, bro. Impressive, 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 bro. Uh, what was this? Around, uh, maybe, I don't exactly remember, it's one of my training sessions. Whenever I get the pitch, I just do the jugglings and I do the shootings and... After that, uh, it's like I can say it's from one year ago, I think, almost. All right, like how how do you control the ball? Like uh, like how do you, the pressure and all this? Like how do you do it? It's uh, like doing the juggling. It really gets you in pressure. The only thing is you have to maintain the, your body control and you have to see the ball, how the ball is coming and how to put your things. So whenever you have a good vision of the ball, you have the control of the ball, and you can juggle with. Well. That's 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 impressive, bro. Uh, let's get back to the video. You were dribbling people here, your your fellow players, and uh, this is quite impressive. This is quite impressive. This is what I really like the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Talk, talk about this. This one. I would uh, like, to lay, like to tell about this session a bit longer. When I was training in uh, ICRC, International Committee of Red Cross in Afghanistan, I was the captain of there. So on Mondays, we had technical trainings. Technical trainings, they, they didn't call them technical trainings. They called them Umid's Day. Umid's Day? <laughs> yeah, they usually... They name it after you. <laughs> yeah, wow, they called bro. it Umid's Day. Whenever it was Monday, they knew that I was the first person who will arrive at the page and I will just manage everything. And this is when I play with the poles mm. and this is the training when you juggle with the ball to cross go from them and you do everything with that. And you don't like the ball should not go up from you and you pass the ball fast and you get the ball back. It, or these were the technical plays that we had on Mondays. Wow. There's a video you, uh, you, were, uh, you were kicking a ball and it hit the, the goal post. Uh, let, let's look into it. Let's look into it. Two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> oh, bro! Unlucky shot. <laughs> How's that? This training, it's not like far, it may be like uh, 15 to 20 days ago. This training I had uh, because of the same matches I had with my first years who were newly joined here. Yeah. That I was training for them. Okay. Like uh, I was like training for my own self, how to shoot the ball. And Aman, my new goalkeeper, yeah. he was like training with me and uh, I was like focused to score. But that unlucky shot, it hurt the post. It was very tough shoot. It was really hard shoot, but I got it on the post. <laughs> That's impressive, bro. I really, I really like that one. Uh, let's let's see this video where you are playing with your friend. Uh, Uzi. 
Yeah, this guy, he is my junior from IT department. His name is Boss. He was the same like one of my colleague from the same department. Whenever he looks at me and saying like, I have to play with you. I like to play with you. Please play with me one time. And he's a great guy. He is placed. He also plays in DTU team. He plays too good. And uh, he also like asked me about uh, as he knows like I have been the captain of the team for more than five six years. He was like whenever there was any tournament inside DTU, he was coming with me and he was telling me please let me know about something. And uh, you are our senior and you should help us with the same IT department. And we had the same session with him. And this guy he really plays good. Okay, okay. Let's look into this video. But first, wait. Uh, how 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 far can you go with this? How with the what's the highest? The highest I have seen like uh, recently I haven't tried, but the mostly I have it's above hundred. Above hundred. Above hundred, yeah. Bro. And above hundred, yeah. This was the similar, mm. uh, like a very small training that I had. It's above thirty-five, I think somehow. But uh, whenever I go to like to go for the record, it's above hundred. All right, uh, let's get back to the video you are playing with your old friends. Uh, that was uh, Kashmir. That, that was in Kashmir, right? Yeah. What the you scored that? Yeah, it's it's inside. It's inside. Bro. <laughs> it's inside. This was four years ago, right? Yeah, exactly four years ago. Exactly four years ago. Four years ago, yeah. That's impressive. When we were in Kashmir. That's impressive, bro. Uh, there's there's another video I, I really liked here. Uh, there's one you made a, a very ama amazing tackle. Uh, can you pass us through this uh, video? Oh! <laughs> How possible was that? Did, did you monitor the ball like? This thing was a mind game. I remember it is even it's uh, like around three to two years ago. His name is Khair Ahmad. He's very fast. Like whenever he takes the ball, yeah. I know that he's fast. When he gets the ball like that, he will pass from me. Then I had to play with my mind. I still remember when he told me like, how did you get the ball from me? Because I knew that whenever he wants to get the ball, he will just do this space and he will run with the ball. So I used my mind. I knew that he is coming like this and I just need to put my foot like that and he will go but the ball will not go from him. So, Mr. Umid, yes. uh, there is a one video you tackle, you dribble, you score at the same time. Uh, can you take us through this, uh, this video? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. And it's no, bro. <laughs> bro, what was this? This one was in lockdown 2021. We were playing with the, all of them. We are all Afghans. When they were not graduated and they were not in Afghanistan, we were like, like the curfew was here. We were just like playing around every day. And this was a quite tough match between us. It was a fixed match from between Afghans. We played like that, especially Shafiq, who, who was also the player of the TTU from Afghanistan. He plays too good. He also played in Afghanistan team and he is very tough. He is very good. He is very fast. So he was the one playing against me. And uh, whenever I see the tough players like that, I accept the challenge and I took the ball from Shafiq. I pass dribble him, his defenders, his goalkeepers also, and I scored the goal like that. That's, that's impressive, bro. Uh, th there's a video here you you made an assist like an incredible assist I must say and I must uh, congratulate you for that. Thank uh, you. Tell us about this like the same tournament as I said before about that that I took the ball from Munna that was the second day and this one was the first match the first goal the first assist by me it started from here then we would the the tournament with the same assist and uh, it's the tournament between Afghans visit. We can say the whole state of whole continent of Africa <laughs> when we won against them, and uh, assist. I got the ball from the defenders, and I saw the opportunity that there were two attackers over there. 
and I knew where to assist and those guys both of them they were in good in heading and they were both tall and fortunately when I passed the ball from them and they, it was a good header by our senior our PhD teacher who is here Masood Masoodi uh, all right. Uh, honestly, I must say you are one of the best football players I've ever seen. Uh, now let's get back uh, a little international. Uh, who is your football idol? My football idol, uh, my cousin. His name is Baktosh. He is from Afghanistan. My best, my best friend ever I have from my own family and ever. And he is, he persuaded me to watch football. He used to play football, and uh, we watched the first match. It was two thousand nine final match Barcelona versus Manchester United UEFA Champions League even though I didn't know that time about Champions League and this and when I saw the guy Lionel Messi with the long hairs he is passing the ball like from everyone he is scoring and all the commentary all the sounds are on him and I saw that guy is really special on the pitch so after that I started watching Lionel Messi Ronaldinho also and I think the the first time I saw Lionel Messi, I knew that this guy is good, special, I started following him, the way he plays and I want to play the way he he passes the ball, the way he dribbles everyone and that's why I can idolize him. Uh, uh, like if you are to compare Ronaldo and Messi, <laughs> like uh, uh, what percentage can you give Ronaldo and what percentage can you give Lionel Messi? Cristiano Ronaldo, I can say the most hardworking person on the football pitch, that guy. With the age he is having right now, from the time I have been watching him from 2009, he is playing for Real Madrid when he joined newly there. That guy, he is a machine. Like if you go, I cannot compare both. Both of them are out of this world. The way they play, the way they have provided for their team, the way they have amazed everyone. Every season scoring 50, 60 goals is not like, it's completely unbelievable. These generations playing these years, it's like they have scored 30 goals and everyone are saying they are the best. No. For Messi and, Leo and Cristiano Ronaldo, they have played every single match. They have played more than 60 goals in a season, which is like quite impressive and quite unbelievable. They have played and comparing them, <laughs> as I said, I'm idolizing Lionel Messi for me. And uh, you won't believe as Messi is my idol. I have more Cristiano Ronaldo jersey on my cupboard. <laughs> that's lit, that's lit, bro. That's lit, bro. Uh, what message do you have for young people who are watching right now uh, in regards to what they want to become? About the generation these days, I have been watching those who are like uh, at the same age that I have right now. They can't do anything. The only thing is practice they need. They need a little bit hard work whenever they face anything. They should face the challenge very easily. Whenever they are having any problems in their life, life is quite complicated and quite challenging. When you accept the problem like that and you think about solving that problem and facing that challenge very easily, that's how you beat your life. That's how you get on top. Whenever you are having any situation, in a bad situation, every situation, we have some slangs in our Afghanistan, we used to say, Harkos or Khudrah Dora. It means every mountain has its way on it, on the top. So every mountain on that much high that you can reach at the top, life is very easy in that thing. You know, uh, whenever you reach the age 18 till 25, 30, is the most challenging years of the life that we face. Whether we could think that life has pushed you down and it's the same time you should think that no, it's the time that you should put the head life down and you get on the top of it. How did you get rid of this thing that whenever you face any problem, any challenge in your life, the only thing you need to think about it you can solve any problem, you can come over time, like over any challenge. That's the main thing I can pass my messages to all the youth who are here. Hard work is the key. It will take time. You have to be patient and you have to pray and you have to be waiting for you at your life and you have to work hard for that. And quite all the challenges you face, you just do it. You just face them. You just get solution for them. That's how you will get success. Uh, that's so impressive, bro. Uh, as I'm sitting here right now, I'm very, very inspired by your words. Uh, we have come to the end of our interview. Uh, thank you, bro, for your time. And I uh, wish you all the best in your lifetime. Thank you so much, Mr. Jenny. Thank you so much for having me here. We had a session a few days back. I think we started to talk about the interview. I was really amazed that uh, this guy, you are a great YouTuber, you are a great video editor. I have seen your videos, it's really inspiring also, like the way you did, the way you 
like take your time on that the way you are putting the videos on there so impressive and also i have seen all your editing ways in the libraries we used to see each other it's really impressive i'm really happy to have you uh, here thank you so much bro i really appreciate it uh, this is the end of the session uh, i hope you learn one or two things from this interview uh i remain then daniel ayun your host thanks so much want to cross me cool not intelligent cuz i don't forget shit like an elephant go ahead and tell me put it on the line and you'll come up empty if i got time i'm deadly never cut off